This is the book of Revelation 12 and 12. Therefore rejoice ye heavens, and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea, for the devil is come down on, unto you, having a great wrath, because he know it that he had but a short time. I want to start off saying, call her lot and lie, Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Rechakodash, which means give our praises to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, and His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai, which is our Lord and Savior, and to the Holy Spirit. The Thomas Shana Kabbalah has a crown, Shai Allah, which means give the honors to the elders of Israel, which is the apostles and elders of great Midstone, who teach him well, and Shalom on Wahablaha Bakaya Shai Allah, which means peace and love to the leg of Israel, and come back again. To the spirit power of you, how about Shimmy? How shy about Shimmy? Chakwadash on the Buddha and I from Jimmy H. Memphis Camp. Do you want to do a quick list on this um, video? As you can see from on uh, social media, you know how this devil is moving fast with his um, trying to accomplish his NWO. You see, he said this finger pad charges your phone or watch with your sweat, right? With your own sweat, you can charge up your own. Um, your devices, you know, your smartphones, smartwatches, and cell phones. And all that lead to what? The NWO, the MOTB. It lead to the MTB, it's like it, you know? <laughs> and this is part of his NWO. So let's read Revelation 12 and 12 again. You know, I'm in transit on the way back to the plantation. <laughs> so, man, it said, Therefore rejoice ye heavens and ye that do land the right. We are supposed to be rejoicing. We are supposed to be rejoicing because prophecy is speaking with the end of this, man. Time is moving faster. The earth is spinning faster, man. You see? And he saw know that. So he said, woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea, which means different destruction, you know, to the people. For the devil is Esau Edom, you know? For the devil has come down onto you having great wrath because he know it he had but a short time, right? He know he had but a short time that his kingdom is coming to end. That he better be taken out of rulership, man. So even to come down guns blazing, man, he about to use that sword. In the book of Romans, I want to say the, um, what's that, the 13th chapter? He built not the sword in vain. You see? So let's play this video. Articles came out that the year 2023, he want the cell phone in your hand. He, you, he wants you to become the cell phone, man. You know, no more holding the cell phone in your hand. It, it's you. <laughs> you see, this is where we at with his, uh, the, his technology, man. So, right, so let's get on uh, 2 Corinthians 2 and 11. They say, let Satan should get advantage of us, but we are not ignorant of a device. So why are we not ignorant of a device at all, man? We know what it is. We know what he, uh, what he's uh, trying to do, trying to accomplish, which is what? Chip the masses of the people. Revelation 13 to 16, he causes all both small and great, which support free and bond to receive a mark in their, hand, their right hand on their forehead, man. You know, the 17, that you can't bow or sell, save you that had the mark. <laughs> you see, which is what the the the, uh, the little grain of rice, the implantable grain of rice in your hand, either hand, your forearm, your neck, shoulder, it doesn't matter. Your forehead, it doesn't matter. That's what Esau wants to do. He calls it all. He requires everybody. You see, so this is where we at with it. But the Most High, the Lord said, uh, Job twenty, 
Are you about to fill his belly? Let's get that. Damn, ain't no park spots. Let's start 22. Job 20 and um, 22. In the fullness of his offenses, then he should be in straits. Right. He in straits. You know? They said every hand of the wicked should come upon him. Exactly. And we... Through the spirit power of Yahweh Shemashah, the man of the Lord, the servants of, y of Yahweh Shemashah, we exposing him, man. So this nigga is in strikes, man. You know? So it say, uh, when he is about to fill his belly, which is what it's trying to uh, accomplish the NWO, when you think he about to be successful, the most I should cast the fury of his wrath upon him. What's the fury of Yahweh Shemashah wrath? No missiles, fire. Isaiah 66 and 15 tell us that, man. His indignation, you know. <laughs> What's that, Luke 12 and 49? He comes in fire on the earth, you know. So he said, when he is about to fill his belly, the Most High should cast the fury of his wrath upon him and shall rain upon him while he is eating, right, while he is eating, man. You see? He should flee from the iron weapon and the bow of steel should strike him through, right? The bow of steel... Just strike them through. It's what? The missiles, man. The ICB on missiles, man. You know? So let's get, you know what? I get some, some 2111 in the right here. They said, For they tend to evil against thee, they imagine a mischievous device. And what's the mischievous device? His NWO. You know? Hey, well, I want to say this year, his Georgia Guidestone was blown up. So they let you know it's, it's not going to work out for him, man. You know? But she still want to depopulate the um, the people. And I'm not giving out medical advices or none, none of that. <laughs> so what? So his uh, for that thing of evil against the name measure a mischievous device, which they're not able to perform. Right? They're not going to be successful. They're not going to succeed, man. It's in the NLT. Although they plot against you, their evil schemes would never succeed. Right? It would never succeed. Why? Right? Because the Mosai got him in straits. You see? Or a Job 5 and 12. It said he disappointed the devices of the crafter. Who is he? Yabba's one shot. It said in MT, he frustrates the plans of a schemers, man. So the most I frustrated, the most I throwing monkey wrenches in the game. And so so that their hands cannot perform their enterprise. Why right? their hands going through their power. That's why um what's that? Uh, Psalm 64. And two, hide me from the secret council. Let's we start at one. I summon David. I, I hear my voice, O oh power, in my prayer, preserve my life from the fear of the enemy. And that's what we want the Lord to do for us, to protect us, you know. It said, hide me from the secret counsel of the wicked, from the exploration of the workers of iniquity. And that's what the Lord want us, that's what we want the Lord to do for us, to hide us, to keep us safe, you see. So, right, so what that helped you is edify once again, give our praises to Yahweh, Shema, Shabbat, Shem, Chakodas. The bonus to the apostles and elders of great mystery, who teach and will peace and love to live with that shallow one, criminals, Allah, Baba.